Today, more than ever, you want to have the strongest immune system you possibly can. It's very, very important because of all of the viruses and bacteria in our environments, and particularly because of one virus that we're all focused on lately. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and that's what this video is all about, how to improve and strengthen your personal immune system within three days. There is actually quite a lot of research about this topic, and I'm gonna put links to all that research down in the show notes below, because I don't want you to ever blindly believe me or anyone else about which diet is going to boost and strengthen your immune system the most. I want you to check it out for yourself. Now, you may find this video a little bit odd because nowhere in this video will I try to sell you anything. So many of the people you see on social media these days will say, hey, I can help you strengthen your immune system. Here's this pill, here's this powder, here's this herb or root or berry. I don't have any of that stuff for sale. All I have to give you is the science that I've spent years researching and practicing as a family physician. Eating the wrong kind of diet can absolutely weaken your innate immune system. And that's basically the, the first part of your immune system that deals with an infection that you've never been exposed to before. Eating the wrong diet can slow down your neutrophil function. A neutrophil is a white blood cell whose only job is to fight infection. Eating the wrong diet can actually even compromise the layer of mucus inside your, your mouth, your, your bronchial tubes, your trachea, and your alveoli, which can weaken your immune system, your innate immune response to any infection. So let's go through some diet examples and talk about this. Now, the research that I've linked down below talks about blood sugar spikes or uh, episodes of high blood sugar. Even short episodes of elevated blood sugar weaken your immune system in the ways that I talked about earlier. And so let's say that you are going to eat according to the My Plate guidelines, the Food Pyramid guidelines, or the guidelines put out by pretty much any nutrition authority, board, or body. So for breakfast, you're going to have Special K with skim milk and a glass of orange juice. That's 69 grams of carbohydrates. That's going to spike your blood sugar, even if you don't have diabetes. So many people walking around the world today have prediabetes and they have no idea because they feel and look healthy. But a diet with that many carbohydrates is going to spike your blood sugar and lead to the weakening of your immune system I talked about earlier. If instead you had bacon and eggs, and I mean as, as much bacon and eggs as you wanted and a cup of coffee or two cups of coffee, you're gonna wind up with about two grams of total carbohydrates that's not gonna spike your blood sugar and weaken your immune system at all. Now we get to lunch, and let's say you're gonna be very health conscious today. You're gonna to have a six inch chicken mango sub sandwich from Subway, and you're gonna have a small bag of baked Lay's, and you're gonna have that little tiny can of Coke, not the big uh, 44 ounce, but just a little eight ounce can of Coke. You're gonna wind up eating 83 grams of total carbohydrates in that meal. That's gonna spike your blood sugar off the charts and weaken your immune system. What if instead you had three chicken legs with the skin on and two full cups of broccoli and some unsweetened tea? You're gonna wind up with 12 total grams of carbs, a carbohydrate load that will not spike your blood sugar to the degree that the 83 grams of the healthy diet are gonna spike your blood sugar. Now we get to dinner, right? And so you're gonna have some whole grain pasta with marinara sauce. And I'm talking about just the average portion size here. I'm not talking about eating as much as you'd actually like to. Let's just say you ate just the serving size that the pasta box says you should eat. And you're gonna have a side salad with some honey mustard dressing. Make that fat-free honey mustard because you know, you're know you watching, watching your weight and trying to be healthy. And another little small Coke, a little eight ounce can. You're gonna wind up eating 95 grams of total carbohydrates in that meal. That's gonna spike your blood sugar and weaken your immune system. What if instead you had a full 16 ounce hamburger steak and you had two full cups of Brussels sprouts and you had some sparkling water to drink. You're gonna to to walk away from that meal with 15 total grams of carbohydrates. Much, much better than the 95 grams 
that the authorities would tell you is a healthy dinner. So if you eat the recommended diet that, that the American Diabetes Association and others would tell you to eat, you're gonna wind up eating 240 total grams of carbohydrates a day on average. And just in, in these three meals, you've got 240 grams of carbohydrates that's a ridiculous amount of carbohydrates. That's gonna spike your blood sugar and keep it elevated at least three times a day and weaken your immune system all through that day. If, however, you had eaten the low carbohydrate suggestions that I recommend, you would have wound up with a total of under 30 total grams of carbohydrates for the day. Not only is a low carbohydrate or a keto or a carnivore diet gonna help you burn fat, lose fat, lower your levels of inflammation, but it's also gonna help strengthen your immune system by not causing the blood sugar spikes that can happen even in someone with a normal blood sugar if they eat 95 grams of total carbohydrates in one small meal. So the take home message is stop blindly believing all of the experts out there about eating a, a diet full of sugar and grains and starchy vegetables, those things spike your blood sugar, they cause you to store fat, and they weaken your immune system. Instead, try to eat a diet that lowers your blood sugar levels back to low normal, that lowers your insulin levels back to low normal, and that actually lower your levels of inflammation in your body. That is the diet that's gonna help you Will help all your body systems, but definitely help your immune system be stronger and more intelligent and able to fight off infection that otherwise you might succumb to. I have over 270 videos on this channel that you can watch for free. Remember I said I'm not selling anything that explain this way of eating to you. It's actually very simple and it is actually quite affordable regardless of what you might believe or have been told. A low carbohydrate diet that I explain in the other videos on this channel will help you be healthier and help you have a stronger immune system. It will also help your family members and your loved ones and your friends have a healthier life and have a, a more robust, intelligent immune system that can fight off disease much more readily. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider clicking the subscribe button right down below and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I have a bright idea or do some more research, you'll be one of the very first people to know. If my YouTube videos have helped you improve your health in some small way, please consider clicking on my Patreon link. It's right down in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way to help me have more time and more resources to make videos just like this, since I'm probably never going to be sponsored by Big Food or Big Pharma or Big Medicine or anybody else big. So it's up to me and you. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.